Good morning. I already went over how beautiful today is going to be, so I want to take a little bit of time and talk to you long term with the next seven days. So first up, let's go over the high temperatures for the week ahead. So we will have warmth building in for the afternoon hours. Now our normal during this point in September will be a high of 84 degrees. So today we're going to be a little bit below normal. I think in Chattanooga we're going to top out at 80, but across the entire area highs from about 75 to 80. Hit 83 on Tuesday, then we have some days at 84 to 85 degrees, which is quite seasonable for this time of year for late weekend into the weekend. What about those morning time lows? Well, they're a little bit cooler as well, particularly this morning, tomorrow morning and Wednesday morning. That's when we're looking at 50s on the board. 61 by Thursday, 62 on Friday. Our normal is 63. So again, the next couple of days we're looking at being a little bit cooler than what's normal. Those kind of early days of fall that we're getting for this week. You're also going to get to enjoy lower humidity as well, particularly today and tomorrow. We're in that green comfortable category. Now it will rise back up as we approach midweek and into the weekend into the low end of the humid category, but we're not looking at any kind of big spikes in humidity. So overall, cooler mornings, warmer afternoons and that lower humidity in place, especially today and tomorrow. And you can really enjoy all of this outdoor with your activities, whether it's fun or maybe you need to do some work because we don't have any rain chances for the days to come. Really, we're looking at Sunday as being the next chance of rainfall, and even that is slim to none at 10%. So this is the good side. You get to enjoy all the outdoor fun. The bad side is that we do actually need some rain. We had rain on Saturday, but that didn't make much of a dent in our 30 day rainfall deficits. So we're talking mid August through this point in September. We are certainly running behind, especially where you see those orange and red colors about two and a half, three inches behind of what you would normally expect. Now back to focusing in on today. Uh, we're not seeing any rain in the forecast, but we do have water droplets in the air in the form of some fog. So running through the Hiawassee River Valley through the Ocoee to Tacoa River Valleys over to the east. We're seeing it along the Tennessee River, especially dense with that gold color in Marion County into Jackson County. A few other spots of the gray showing up on here. That's indicating some of that fogginess. So just mindful of that for your morning time commute. Temperature wise. Hey, look at this. Chattanooga has now dropped two more degrees. 57 in Chattanooga, so a lot of mid 50s on the board, even those low 50s off to the east 51 for Murphy and Blue Ridge. So yeah, you probably do want to grab that lightweight jacket before you head out the door. But again, you'll need it for the next few hours this morning. By the afternoon time, it's going to feel warmer. So for kind of that school day planner, here's what to expect. 59 degrees of that clear sky at 7 a.m., although we will have a few spots of that fog. Mild at 63 at 9 o'clock, 71 at 11 a.m. So any of those kind of late morning, uh, early afternoon recess plans outside. The kids are going to be playing in the 70s and then when they're coming home from school, 79 degrees by three o'clock this afternoon. As we look at future cast today, tomorrow, really nothing showing up. I didn't even put pause points on there. Let me take you to Wednesday. We will have a few added clouds to the mixture, uh, but overall Wednesday and Thursday still dry. So today, tomorrow, plentiful sunshine. Wednesday, Thursday, we'll have some scattered clouds. Friday, we go back to those mostly sunny skies. Let me take you to Saturday. So Saturday, there's going to be this low pressure system off the South Carolina coastline, bringing the Carolina some rainfall. For us here locally, though, we still have a whole lot of sunshine, but this could push a little bit westward, which means our eastern communities on Sunday, that small chance, remember that 10% that I showed you, that could show up as far as that rainfall. But most of our area staying dry on your Sunday, late day Sunday into Monday, though we may have a system coming in from the west. Uh, really, that's it. So quiet weather for the week ahead that you can certainly enjoy and be outside for. So from the future cast, let's talk about our high temperatures today. Most spots 75 to 80 degrees, a little bit cooler to the northwest. So 71 in Altamont, Cleveland, Dalton topping out at 79. That wind from the north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Abundant sunshine, that lower humidity. Just beautiful outside today. Tonight it will be cool again. Generally clear, low temperatures in the 50s. Even 48 for that low in Murphy tonight and then tomorrow we're looking at upper 70s to low 80s, mostly sunny skies, 83 in Chattanooga, 80 for Dayton, Fort Payne, 82 for Cleveland and in Dalton. Can't say it enough. I mean, it's just going to be beautiful for this week ahead. If you love kind of that early fall vibes, you're going to get that, which means a little bit cooler in the morning, but you still have the warmth in the afternoon. So it's not like it's chilly all day long or anything like that. And then Saturday, of course, is the first official day of fall. So we're sliding in beautifully for that. 
Sunday, big day, race day for all the athletes. Ironman here in the scenic city. It's looking like it's going to be cooperative as far as the weather goes for that too. This whole week? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. just great. Yeah, uh, banner week for Allison Pryor and for us alike. I mean, yeah. this is everybody really can enjoy it. Week of the year so far? Mm -hmm. So far. Why not? I mean, claim it. I know we say that a yeah. lot, but I like yeah. it. I, well, I'll claim it too. Each time you say it, it's the new. So it's the, yeah. this is it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. 619.